This is the Connecting to Spirit podcast with your host, Susan Norton. Here, you will find ways for you of connecting to spirit. These are true stories. Welcome. I want to share with you one of the earliest beginnings of my body talk, uh, spirit healing, and how this came into being. When I was a teenager, I had really bad monthly periods, menstrual cycles, and had a lot of pain. And also at that time, I was very angry at my brothers because they didn't have to go through this. And I was very angry about a lot of things because I was a girl and I had certain expectations and the boys seemed to have different things that I was jealous of and I wanted to have. So every time I got my period, I think it was high school, and I would go to the nurse's office and I would be in such bad pain and there's nothing they could do. So I would like lay on the bathroom floor in the nurse's office in this private bathroom and I just curled up on the floor because it was cool and I had an incredible pain. And this one time, I had heard these girls talking about that they were taking muscle relaxants to help them with the menstrual cramps. And as I lay there on the floor that day, I thought, well, maybe I can relax my muscles and that might help. So I don't know how I knew to do this, but I traveled inside my body and I went to the place of the pain and I began to talk to my body. And I said, sweetie, what's going on? Is there something wrong? Do we need to go to the doctor? Why do we have all this pain? And I began to talk to my body and say, you're very important. This part of my body, this reproductive system is really important. And we're going to have a child one day. And this is really beautiful. And thank you so much. And if we need to go to the doctor, just let me know if something is wrong. Let me know. And as I began to talk to my body, the pain lightened up. And I began to appreciate that part of my body more and let it know that I was there and I was curious about why all this pain. And I, you know, maybe relax the muscles around it. I'm like, let's relax those muscles and let's see what happens. And the pain went away. The pain was completely gone. And I let my body know if there's anything that you need or we need to go to the hospital or something, just let me know. And thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And what the funny thing was, the pain never came back. And I was young. I had many years of menstrual cycles to go through. And the pain not only didn't come back, but I didn't have any symptoms. Like I didn't, going from then on, I didn't even know I had my period until I saw the evidence. Like this was such a massive shift and there was no, you know, I didn't use any medicine or anything. I just began to talk to my body and the odd thing I noticed too was I had had a lot of anger and resentment towards my brothers. I grew up with a lot of brothers around me and I didn't have any sisters until I was about six. I come from a big family. There were seven kids all together. But what I noticed was I couldn't hang on to the anger and resentment and have no pain. So Part of the deal I was that just seemed to happen was I couldn't be in a place of anger and have no pain in my body. So that was something I noticed that I noticed later. I'm like, wow, I'm not really angry anymore. And just as a side note, I'm now at the time I'm making this video or this podcast is I'm 63 at this point. And I went through the end of my menstrual cycles, menopause. And I didn't have any symptoms. Like it just kind of went away. And no, I think I had half of one hot flash and I didn't expect to have any. And my mother, by the way, also, she told me once that it was very mild, that the menopause was wonderful for her. And just as a side note, like they just kind of went away. No, none of that menstrual or what do they call it? Menopause symptoms at all. In fact, one time I went to my doctor years after my period had stopped. I'm sorry, guys, this is personal female stuff, but it's good to hear and it's open to, you know, everyone. 
And she goes, well, when was your last period? I started laughing. I'm like, I don't know. It was so long ago. I don't remember. She goes, what do you mean? You haven't stopped your menstrual cycles. I said, absolutely. Like, it's been so long. I really don't remember. And I do have a child, by the way. So that was such a benefit. And she actually couldn't believe me because I had no symptoms. I just looked like I still had my period. And she gave a test and she goes, oh, my God, you are postmenopausal. And I'm like, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> like, I could have told you that. And she was just like, wow, I've never seen anything like this, like no symptoms and this kind of thing. So anyway, I think that was interesting. And I wanted to share that with you. And since then... I've been doing body talk, like if I have an illness or surgery, and I'll make another podcast about how I had some major tooth surgery and what happened with that. It's very, very curious because one of my specialties is talking to the body, letting the body know what's going on and getting messages from the body so the body doesn't have to yell at us. And we work in conjunction with the body. And if you'd like to find out more, reach out to me or I'm easy to contact and find out more about this body talk. I'm calling it body talk, spirit healing, something like that, where it's really letting spirit in and talking to the body and getting messages from the body, which I think is awesome because the body has so much wisdom and we really honor the body. And when we do this work, the body loves it and the body responds and the body heals faster and we have a better life. Pain is important. We have to have pain in life, but the suffering pain when we don't need to have it, that's something that we can work on. But I care about you and let me know what you're interested in, what you want to hear about. And I'm curious to hear that. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care. This has been a Connecting to Spirit podcast with your host, Susan Norton. If you like what you heard, Visit us at connectingtospirit.com forward slash podcast for more listening adventures.